Hey guys, this is what the kids call story time, I guess. Um, so I am an artist, author, illustrator, person. You know, this is what I do. We're in my studio right now. I'm in Brooklyn, New York. I'm like a functioning person for the most part. Um, and my creative work is often posted by brands on social media. So I myself post my work on social media. It's how I share my work. It's how I um, gain new fans and new supporters of my work. And my work is often reposted and shared by brands on social media. It is also shared by people, which I strongly encourage and appreciate. It's how, how my work spreads. Um, of course, if you wanna repost my work, please tag me in the image and credit me in the caption. And this is true of, of any creative person's work that you wanna share and repost. Like, if it's Twitter or something where you can share an original post by retweeting, please do that. If it is somewhere where you have to physically repost, or physically, where you have to actually re-upload, make sure that you are effectively, properly, fairly crediting the work. But brands, brands like to repost artwork to populate their social feeds. And they are not necessarily taking that artwork and printing it on a t-shirt and selling it. They are not stealing your art and profiting off of it in an immediate sort of obvious way. But when a brand populates its social channels and builds a following using this sort of content without permission, whether it's credited or not, what they are indirectly doing is profiting off of it. Whether it's a promoted post where they've paid Facebook or Instagram or whatever platform to show it to more people or not. Whether or not they have done that, they are still profiting off of that work. And it's not okay. And it happens to me all the time and it happens to a lot of people that I know because I know a lot of illustrators and artists. Our work is shared without our knowledge, without our permission, often without credit, sometimes with. Uh, but we're not asked first. We don't have the opportunity to say, hey, company with 50,000 followers, or hey, one person company with 500 followers, but still a business just like I am. Hey, I don't feel like promoting you today. Hey, brand, hey, cereal company, whatever. Hey, granola brand. I don't feel like having my artwork sell that today. And we're not given the opportunity to say something like that. Now, for anyone who, who is a creative person, you know, in the world working, you know, I should talk more specifically about myself. I work for brands. Brands can hire me to do original, original artwork, design work, illustration work for them. Um, alternatively, companies and brands can license existing artwork for new purposes. A company could email me and say, we love this graphic. We would like to use it to print 100 t-shirts, 100 mouse pads for our company event, or we wanna sell this art on a product in our store. You can, you can license the artwork. That's how, it's a big part of how commercial illustrators earn a living. Um, there are many channels to, to fairly, to legally, to positively use artist artwork and support people while also getting what you want. Um, but there's so much of this, this reposting that happens. And I don't know what the law is. I don't know if there is a law yet. Like, I'm not sure if it's, is it illegal? Is it frowned on? Like, I don't know because it feels really new. It feels like something that especially exists in like this Instagram time and especially exists in this like brands have to be people time. Um, it's like a weird thing that I just deal with. And, and part of that is also that my work is, is friendly. It's relatable. It's often ubiquitous. Um, brands feel like it just exists and they can just post it and it's this weird middle ground of like this has value to me I want to share it for my company's followers um, but I'm not gonna bother to figure out who made it because it just like maybe just exists or like it I just found it on Pinterest it's just like a nice thing that I saw um, and so there's this disconnect between like yes it has value but like but I don't value the person that made it um, but anyway, I guess the story time element of this, four minutes into the video, is that this company, this company with like a significant social media following built solely on reposting artist work without credit, reposts at my work. And I very often ignore this stuff, but that day in 2017, I was just like, fuck it. Like, I'm gonna look up who the contacts are, I'm gonna do the homework, and I'm gonna send them an email. And so I did, and I was just like, this is my work, this is what I do. Um, this is my job, my livelihood, you know, 
many other people respect me for this, you don't delete this post. And I got this sort of like long apology and it'll never happen and like thank you. And I was frustrated, but I was also restrained. I'm not gonna just like show up in your inbox yelling at you. Um, that doesn't accomplish anything. I kind of put in the work to educate and be like, hey, I know that you think that you're just like using this and like you're not profiting, but actually like you are and, and people made this and those people have lives and like this is what people do for, for a living in this world um, or for a hobby that earns them some sort of income. Like doesn't have, you don't have to be a, a career artist for your art to have value. If you made it, it has value. If you made it, it's like a special thing that you made that I don't know, that people should respect. And so they did delete it. And then last month, the exact same company posted the exact same image again, also without credit, but even had they credited me without asking me, it still would have been a problem. And this time I was like, you know what? Is it promotion for me? Yes. Is it flattering that they like my work? Yeah, sure, fine, yes, okay. Is it okay? No. Did I wanna promote your business? No. Your tech startup, like this is a company with like more employees than my company, with more money than my company. Um, I was just like, no, I'm not okay with this. Like I don't, I don't want to be participating here. I have like three paragraphs and an email from you telling me that you're sorry, it'll never happen again. Less than a year later, it happened again. Fuck you, pay me. And uh, I did not write that in an email, but basically I was like, hey, me again, uh, you told me you would never do this and then you literally did it. I'm gonna send you an invoice. What is the best address for an invoice? And I didn't really need a mailing. I wasn't gonna mail it to them, but it was my way of being like, hey, uh, I'm bringing this conversation back up and just so you know, like I mean business this time. And I got an email back that was like, oh, we're so sorry, it'll never happen again. And I was like, no, it already, we already did this part. I was kind of like, you know, like freeze frame, record scratch, this already occurred, so apology is not a thing. You need to pay me now. And uh, what ended up happening is that I was paid and they literally cut me a check, which like, gonna just move really fast and I don't wanna like show you who it was. I'm not, I am not putting a specific company on blast. Um, but I was basically like, no, fuck you. Like, you obviously value my work. I have value as a person. Like, my existence is valid. You need to pay me. And. They did, and essentially what it was is like sort of like a, an after the fact license for social media use. It's like a retroactive art license. Uh, they did still have to delete the thing because I wouldn't have let them do it. And it was weird and it was this, this conversation with someone at the company who was like, oh, like, you know, we didn't know, we weren't profiting off of it, we were just using it. And I was like, I hear you saying what you think is accurate, but the reality is that lots of companies hire artists to make work, whether it is for a product, for an advertisement, or purely just social media content to populate their channels. And I was like, here are some companies that have hired and paired, and hired me and paid me fairly. And that includes like Penguin Random House and Urban Outfitters and Pepsi and Adobe and Hewlett Packard. Like these are real companies that I know you've heard of they decided that I have value and they did the right thing and you didn't. And it um, feels really good. feels really good to just stand up for myself and be like, no, I'm sorry. Like, this is, this is a thing that I do and, and you guys are wrong. And I understand why you think creative work is just out there and that it's been put online so it's free for use, but it's not. And so, <clears throat> this is really just like a video to remind people that your creative work has value. That and, and if you're not a creative person yourself, if you're not a, a creator, an artist, an illustrator, a writer yourself, a reminder that creative work has value. And I don't know why there's a disconnect here. I don't know why people forget this, but it does. It has value. And if it's valuable enough that you want to share it, that's cluing you in right away. Like there's a value there. If you know who made the work, you can ask for permission. If you know who made the work, you can reach out and see if it's okay. If you don't know who made the work because you just saw it somewhere, if you don't know who made the work so that you're not able to tag them in the post, if you don't know who made the work so you're not able to ask permission, then you cannot use the work. If you don't know who made it, you can't use it. That's stealing. That's not okay. And, um, 
yeah, this is just like a reminder to, to remember that creative work has value, that it comes from real people, that it's not okay to steal that work, whether or not you think you're making a profit off of it. Um, and it's a story about a time that I like stood up for myself. And so there's a lot that I feel like I do. Uh, people have talked to me about, people are like, I love how you always go off on Twitter. And I'm like, am I, is, is it going off to like tell people that a factory in China's making like knockoffs of my work? Or is it going off to like call out a major retail brand for stealing my work and selling it in their stores? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that I'm like a Twitter rant person. I think I'm just saying things that are true, that affect a lot of people. And I don't know, it just seems like, like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you do this sort of thing? And so, I don't know, this is a long video about a time that I was just like, no, I'm sorry, you need to pay. And they did. And there have been plenty of times when I am not paid. I'm actually like, so shocked that this company did the right thing. It's actually so cool. Um, it's not. The, it's actually not the first time that's happened to me, uh, where I, I went all the way up the chain, and I was like, "You gotta pay." Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm encouraged by my own actions, and I'm encouraged to like remind you, if you don't think about this sort of thing about your own work or about the work of others, I'm encouraging you to remember that again, creative work has value. That people make things. And that if you like something enough that you want to use it, that's that's an indicator that you value it. And if you value it, then you gotta like do due diligence to to compensate the creator in a way that pays them for that value, whether it's payment in money, whether it's just an agreement, like, yeah, that's totally cool, you can use this, you know, that is fine. Sometimes people are fine with that. I don't know. Sorry, I like ran out of words. I'm tired and my mouth is literally tired of saying things but I don't know this is this is what I do this is what I do with my life this is work this is where I work I sit here and make things and uh, I'm not the only person in the world who makes things we all we all follow creative people who make things we all follow creators and I don't know it's just let's stop fucking this one up if you're a social media manager if you work for a company that is posting things to social media Remember that that creative work has value and educate the people in your office educate the people around you let them know That just reposting work without asking for it's not okay You can be the one to tell people and yes, there are things in the world that are worse than this I am NOT telling you to like dedicate your life to this and only this and ignore everything else, but This is something too. This is something that affects me and so many people that I know and you know triggered by actually getting a check this time and triggered by a good friend of mine literally posting about this in an Instagram caption an hour ago. I was like, I will sit here and talk to my phone for 13 minutes and eight seconds. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it, bye.